Hi and welcome back to David Tom Christian's channel. Today I am having a look at uh, Heaviosity and their release of a new foundations instrument and it is the synth bass. Heaviosity do this kind of free uh, software and it has already got a piano, a staccato strings, nylon guitar and last week they released the uh, synth bass. And these are powered by either Complete Control or the Contact Player. So you don't need the full version of Contact to use these. It is a powerful free synth bass powered by the free Contact Player. Uh, and it is free. Features thick sounds of analog synth paired with expertly crafted and growling sound design layers. There's only four pages. So uh, there's, there's not a huge amount. There's some ADSR, there's a bass and a growl, and uh, the mod wheel is uh, assigned to the filter control. There's also an ARP and a gate, and that's about it. That's about it. What's included? Uh, there are uh, two sound sources, a low synth bass and a crisp growl. There's only 10 presets, so um, you can uh, quite easily make your own. There's a gate, ARP control for building complex resonant patterns. There's a two-channel mixer with real-time source blending. There's an envelope control, and there's a master effects with punch, delay, and reverb. And that is about it. So you need a Heaviosity account and you also need the Heaviosity portal uh, to get this. So I've, I've already got uh, Heaviosity software. So, and once you've downloaded this, you have to install it through Native Access. So, um, so what, once you get your email from Heaviosity with your uh, serial number, you have to go up and add a serial. Um, and uh, if you do that, you can copy and it'll paste it and add serial. And then that is you. And then you go and... Uh, hang on, and then you go and install it. So it's under F for foundations. Uh, so And there it is. Once it had installed, I had to move mine because I, I keep all my native instruments, stuff like this, on my um, external Samsung T5 drive. So it will ask you where you want to install it. So anyway, make sure that you've, you've got the right path. And remember to open complete control so that it loads in uh, and then you can open it up in your DAW um, or wherever you want or use complete complete control like I will be doing. So that's kind of important that you have to install it through this. If you just download it and try and open it in complete control, or whatever, you won't see it because you have to install it through native access first. So uh, like I said, you can have a go. Once you've downloaded this one, you can always try the other ones if you don't have much in the way of that type of thing. But uh, obviously I have got complete 13, so I've got enough strings and guitars and pianos to last me a lifetime. Um, right, so here we are in complete control, and I have a uh, foundation spin. So you can see there's there's only ten presets. Um, so this is the the uh, first page. So you've got your bass and your growl, um, and I control can control some of this from the keyboard, but not all. So I can control the volume for the bass and the growl. And the one thing, it is very quiet. So the first thing you normally have to do is um, ramp up these um, and then the mod wheel uh, will adjust the filter cutoff so like I said it is it is a bit on the quiet side hang on I'll bump this up I'll bump this up a bit as well it gets a bit louder if you use the mod wheel so it's going to probably peak a bit on the recording, so apologies for that. And then you've got your pitch bend as well. So this is uh, page one, so you've got your bass and your growl. Uh, this is page two, so I've got ADSR, so if these four, so four to eight, so we've got A, D, S, and R. Um, so that's quite cool, and uh, you've also got um, an offset and a random, so I don't have any controls for that. So it's a bit, it's because it's a free. Um, bit of software it hasn't been fully mapped uh, offset and random for uh, the start as well um, and then the third page is uh, gate and the arp uh, and you can either switch both on so you can have either bass or growl uh, or you can switch them both off uh, there as well so you can see this is a gate switch that off Get a bit louder. So 
we can turn the base and the grill on. Uh, so you've got latch retrig on one shot, and then you've got an amount, you've got a rate, a length, and smooth, so that's zero to 100%. On the ARP, you have uh, different modes. You've got chord mode, up, down, up and down, down, up, repeat twice, repeat three times, repeat four times, or random. It's angry pulsars. So I've kind of favorited this one, so. Find yourself using the mod field quite a lot. Because it does have quite a lot of effect on it. There's big bottom synth. And again, this is a chord. Um, and let's well, say we can bump the bass up. So I've got three pages, so it basically just, and, and there's very little on this, so the punch and delay on the second page, and then the reverb is the only thing on the third page. So you've got an amount in time, you've got amount in time, and then amount for the punch. So like I said, it's very limited controls via the keyboard, so you will find yourself using the mouse quite a bit. So we'll bump up the bass on that. is another uh, rhythm. So that's got the bass on uh, the arm and it's on chord mode. So we could switch Corel on as well. Actually, let's go to uh, submarine swells. This is a wee bit different. And it says you can hardly hear it. So, so if we go to the uh, ADSR, you can see if I change the attack. So the punch is on, so we can you can switch the punch off and on there, and obviously the delay and reverb. Like I said, you can do this via the keyboard as well. So we'll just it's actually quicker using the mouse. So we can switch that to gate. So uh, you can see uh, this has got uh, an ARP on it as well which seems to be the 
So we'll switch the base on. And the, well, we'll leave the growl off. We'll bump up the base. So we'll just have a look at this. So we'll bring the attack in a bit. Right, so I quite like that. So let's save that. Uh, I want to save as. So we'll just put in uh, DTC Swelling Oregon. So we'll save that. Switch the grill on as well. back to ARP and let's do switched on on this one. No, it's an ARP chord as well. Right, let's switch both on. Right, so the bass is on ARP and the gate's on grill. Uh, 
that said, we could save that one as well if we wanted to and uh, just build up some more variations. Um, so yeah, let's see what it's like with the mod wheel. Yeah, quite like that. We'll save that one as well. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Right, so that is pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. It's free to download. And like I said, you do need a Heaviosity account and the portal. Um, and remember, you have to install it through Native Access. Apart from that, it's pretty cool and uh, pretty easy to, like I said, play around with some of these and build up um, some more presets and like I said there's also the other three in the foundation series that you could download as well if you quite like this one okay uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next week bye for now